Alrighty, folks. Here's a classic one right here. Let me see here. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. I'll set this up. This is by Lennon Anderson. Rose Garden. Alrighty. Wait for the ads. There we go. Ah, they go right ahead. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden alone with the sunshine. There's gonna be some little rain sometime. When I take you to the God you give life and life go. I beg your pardon. Never promise you a rose garden. I could promise you the things and big diamond rings. If you find the roses grow in stalks of the clover. So got it bed over. Well, talking for all we could take the palm too. I could give you the world right now, a silver platter. If you don't, would it be the matter? So I smile for a while and let's be jolly. I don't wanna be so melancholy. If I'm alone, share the good times when you can. I beg your pardon. Woo! Never promise you a rose garden alone with the sunshine. There's gonna be little rain sometime. I beg your pardon. Woo! Never promise you a rose garden. You can sing your tune and promise you the moon. If that won't hold you, I just won't let you go. But there's one thing I want you to know. You better look for the leap and still will run deep. If you don't always want someone to pull you out. And you know what I'm talking about. So smile for a while and let's be jolly. I don't wanna be so melancholy. Let's look and share the good times while you can. I beg your pardon. I never promise you a rose garden along with the sunshine. Gotta be a little rain sometime. I beg your pardon. I said I never promise you a rose garden. Woo! You have to switch up my voice, you know what I mean? You gotta adjust. That's what I meant by winging it. If you're a karaoke singer, you gotta sing songs that you're not comfortable with. You gotta sing songs that you don't know. And that's how you can test your uh, skills. You know what I'm saying? And I don't read fast and... I jumble the words a bit, just as long as it sounds part to the music and on tune, which sometimes I'm not on tune, but as much as possible I try to be. That's how you do it, and you wing it, or you butcher it, and I don't mind doing that, you know, but as much as possible, you got to try your best, and that's what's all about, and that's why I listen to Care of Fun, and there's many out there, but on YouTube, Care of Fun is what i use because it's fun right like i said i'm not doing this for american idol i'm not con uh, i'm not a contestant uh i was gonna say beauty contestant no <laughs> mr olympia right yeah right anyway so anyway what i was trying to say you know this is all for relaxation laughs and joy you know, it's all it's about my sharing. Sharing is caring, right? <laughs> you know what that is, right? <laughs> no, no, no. We're not sharing spouses here. We're, we're just sharing time together with music. That's all it's all about, man. 
either you're a fan or you're not a fan don't matter and so far you know i appreciate all the comments and you know I, if i can make your day make you smile like this one uh lady said to me that she, she likes listening to me early in the morning when she starts her day with a cup of coffee and me singing and you know so you know it's all good it's all for fun that's what it's all about man and i'm doing this because it all started when i started getting excited about the money that'll be generated now i'm monetizing on youtube hell no i don't care for that i don't but you know i'm a crypto guy and i have a following got people following me on the fintech back in the days we was doing the fintech right and everybody was making money right but i'm talking about the asset of xrp you just people just don't understand and i have to keep reiterating i have to keep explaining that it's not just a cross-border banking crypto it's not just the utility use case on the superior blockchain ledger of xrp but we're talking something different we're talking about financial payment what is financial payment system you're talking about visa mastercard different methods of payment system using credit right and what am i talking about i'm talking about what xrp is gonna do for the new qfs what is qfs quantum financial system which is gonna take over the cbdc now what's the cbdc is the proposed government centralized banking digital currency and that's not, not that's not gonna work people are gonna reject this man I mean, they're going to impose martial law. People will still reject this, man. Nobody wants a digital currency that's centralized, right? Under the government. You know what I'm saying? Where you're talking about uh, loss of privacy. You're talking about your financial privacy. Everything's on the open. Okay? It's an open source, right? It, it, it's a system created by the go it's not even it doesn't even have a blockchain man it don't even have the fundamentals the simple fundamentals of a, what a digital currency is this is they're just gonna keep printing this up to the moon just like the fiat paper money right and like i said that's gonna disappear too so if you're gonna have the same shit on a digital end which is useless because it doesn't even have a blockchain Okay, they are proposing uh, XRP will power the CBDC, which is, I don't know, you know, that's not going to last, man. What's going to last is something that's backed by gold. So if you're talking about the gold standard, 1960, whatever in the U.S., which uh, Roosevelt or one of those guys, uh, that, 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 that guy, I forgot his name, Nixon, who abolished the, uh, the gold standard, the, the once, uh, uh, U.S. silver certificates backed by gold? No, nah, man. In the U.S. Treasury? No. Nah. They, they got rid of that. What is the valuation? Now it's pegged to, or not now, but before it was pegged to, to oil, right? Ever since Afghanistan, you know, you know, nothing happened there. They left ship, everything, you know, high and dry, all the people there, nothing. Because, you, you know, obviously, uh, Donald Trump, I'm not talking about politics here, right? I'm not, I'm not saying anything uh, who I'm what for, but, you know, I, I, I favor Donald Trump. He's running the election uh, next year, 2024, and I believe he's going to be successful. And ever since he lost to Joe Biden, which is bullshit, you know, that's another bullshit thing, sleepy Joe Biden. Uh, anyway, I, I don't want to talk about politics here, but what I'm saying is look what happened to Afghanistan and look what happened to the petrodollar. See? So unpeg U.S. from the petrodollar is worthless, worth nothing. It's worse than toilet paper. It's useless. And that's going to disappear. That's going to disappear all together with the QFS, even with the CBDC, decentralized, right? So what I'm saying is XRP is ISO 222 compliant. That being said, going to be the new financial system, which is going to be XRP is gonna go from 50 cent us to who knows at the end of the year people are talking about 
thousand uh not hundred sorry not per bet bitcoin we're talking about at least at least a thousand dollars at the end of the year we're waiting for two pump here we're waiting for the sec pump we're waiting for the uh for the november uh what's that five days from now november the fourth when the iso goes live so anyways what i'm trying to say i'm gonna relax now and tell you you gotta get into the asset you gotta start buying xrp at 50 cents which is a blessing because after after the exoneration from the sec there's already a settlement made okay it's, there's no public announcement yet on the xrp but when they get exonerated the true valuation that corporations are, are trading right now even not on the exchange you're talking about the true valuation is going to come out there you're talking about five ten hundred buck per unit so you know you buy you 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 stick five hundred bucks in there you got a thousand XRP. What's a thousand times a thousand, my friends? A million dollars. You'll be one million dollar richer if you even just put a measly thousand dollars in. No, actually five hundred bucks. Huh? Just stick thousand bucks, you got you know double. So, anyways, that's all I have to say about that. And, you know, I love mixing crypto with my music, you know. And it's all about that. They go hand in hand for me. That's why I'm singing. I'm singing to the bank. That's why I'm singing too. And for the people, right? I have a following on, on all the social media platforms like Telegram, WhatsApp, Messenger. And I got a following of people. I give educational advice. So don't ever think that I'm giving financial advices. I don't. This is based on opinion, on fundamentals. See, I'm not just uh, I'm not just some guy Joe Blow say hey, he's gonna go to a million bucks. Like what? I got something to back it up. I did my own research and I, and, and and it's based on fundamentals. And you're talking about chart analysis is based on technicals. XRP is way way to go. The way to go for people like you and me that are tired, tired. You know, where is my buying power, right? God, talking about my paycheck every week, which I'm paying taxes on, take, take half of my money. And then by the time I put gasoline in the car and go to the grocery store, I lost everything. So where's my buying power? Nothing. That's why you put your money in a store of value. You put it in crypto, okay? And forget about the meme coins, the shit coins. You're talking about the big three. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. That's it. All right. We talk later, and I'm, I, I'm gonna get a glass of water. I, I said enough. All right. So, I'm just telling you guys, again for the third, fourth time, man. This is generational wealth, and I'm not making commission. This is just, you know, sharing knowledge with you guys. Because, you know, you guys listen to my videos and I'm relaxed now. I'm just so passionate about this and I'm just excited. I'm excited for the future. We live in the fast, fast, you know, ever since the, the, the pandemic. This is a blessing. I mean, a lot of people suffered, I know, 2020, beginning of the pandemic. A lot of people suffered, but you know what? It's coming back, you know. You know, things are going to get better, hopefully, hopefully, okay? So I, I can't tell the future, but I, all I can say is just be tough, hang on, buy XRP, safeguard your assets. This is generally gener, generational wealth. If, if not just wealth, this is for your family. This is, this is going to feed your kids, you know what I'm saying? You know, a thousand times a thousand is one million bucks. <laughs> I can smell it already. And, you know, people say, hey, you're foolish. No, I'm not foolish. In fintech, we don't count the eggs. Okay, we never count the eggs because we count something that's more guaranteed. We have chickens. Okay, we count our chickens because we know they're guaranteed to produce eggs. All right, that's what we do in fintech. All right, all right. I gotta go now, man.